Welcome back to my channel and to all you newbies, welcome to my channel. Today we're going over um, what these gels do because I know as a beginner, I was like, I was so lost. I didn't know what did what and it could have cut me down a lot of time in trying to get a design that I had in my head trying to get out without having all fumbling all over these different types of gels so we have some some shine it or um the, and you don't have to use this particular brand but this is what i have um for doing my nail artwork because um at the time i picked up a lot of his uh votino's um products due to he was showing us how to do nail uh nail art so naturally i used the products that he used and which were his products so I do have some other products. I am going to show you on some nails. This color is from uh, from the Color Complexion uh, from Nails by Dev. And this is Bear It All. And then I also have white gel polish. This is just white regular gel polish from Wave Gel and it's the Snow Ice. And this is the one I used to use before um, Botino came out with pigment pigment base for helping the color, you know, with pigment. So what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to show you some of this stuff. So I'll be back. Up first, we're going to do the mat. So it's less mat has a couple different functions, but technically. It's just you know it's just a top coat but um and it gives you that um dry finish it looks like a dry finish and we'll see that at the end but you can use it another way say for instance you want to add pigment to the uh nail but for whatever reason the pigment is not sticking to the gel polish that you've applied what you can do then is take some matte any kind of matte that you have apply it apply it you know apply a thin coat you don't want it too thick because if you have um extra layers and stuff that you're going to be using and this is self-level as well and if you don't see that it leveled a little bit and you still don't see the rounds you can just turn it upside down but what you're going to do now is pop it in the oven for five seconds or up to ten so depending on how much pigment you want to show on the nail is how long you're going to place it in the oven. So I'm going to do it at five seconds and see what happens. One, two, three, four, five. And so you see that it still has a shiny um, layer at the top. And you might be able to get some on here. Let's try it. The only thing is, I'll caution you, is you'll see. Let's see. So you see how it's going on there super light. It's kind of light. And it's and it's kind of blotchy, right? So it's not as smooth as you would think you would like it. So let's try five more seconds. Two, three, four, five. So now let's try it. Let's try it again. And look at that. Already. But you might wanna you might think that I'm I'm lying about that. So let's take another nail. Let's take another nail and do the full 10 seconds and we'll do the same colors. This one has some lumps in it. All right. Make sure we get a lot of the bubbles out. So now we're going to do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now you can see that all of the shiny layer is gone, right? And what we're going to do now is take the same colors. We took pink first, right? Let's get some pink. And look at that. 
it's coming on already much, 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 much more vibrant. Even that's vibrant. Let's get that green. More green. And vibrant. So it really does make a difference on how long you keep your your nails in the cooker for when you're wanting to apply matte to the background or a pigment to the background on top of a matte um, color. So with that being said, since the, and also once you finish doing whatever you do, you only you only cooked it for two, 10 seconds. So you wanna go ahead and finish cooking it for 50 seconds. So I'm gonna put these, pop these in there just to cure the top the that mat but you want to seal it with more matte or because the powder is is still kind of it's you can wipe it off and i'll show you that as well so yeah we'll i'll show you that i just want you guys to be informed because baby when i first started out I was making all kind of mistakes and it was taking me, it was frustrating because it was taking me longer to do one does one nail than you know a set or whatever. So I was like, mm. when I as I started this channel and I was doing my own, I was like, man, that might be a good idea to have where I can show you what the gels do. All right, so now that they've finished cooking, I want to show you, you can wipe this off almost. Well, you can wipe it off. So I'm just going to use swipe because, you know, acetone is going to do it. So watch that. See, it's, stuff, it's coming off. It's not as, it doesn't come off as bad, but it's coming off. See? So you want to, so you want to, Whatever you want to do to protect that back that back that background, you want to go ahead and top coat it with whatever top coat you're going to use. So now, with that being said, let's get some top with some gloss. Now, with with it having the background pigment, you want to be careful because you can easily contaminate this. So what I do is I'll usually kind of like get a glob at the top and like try to glide, glide it down. And just real light, lightly if you can, as light as you can. I know I'm heavy handed at times, but you wanna make sure that it's nothing on it see there's a little bit of yellow in there so i didn't want to contaminate if i if you don't want to if you don't want to risk contaminating your bottle pour some out on like a little um like one of these things i never could one of these things and then uh just use that to dip your your brush back in so what i'm going to do just to show you again how this can bleed through if you don't be careful. Like just say I'm doing it this way. I was gonna do it this time, huh? Yeah, but just be careful, man, because I don't want you to contaminate your your clean your new clean bottle, you know? Alright, so I'm gonna pop these back in there and we'll move on to the next. Actually, I probably could use the same one. So now I want to show you a technique that you can use for Wonder Gel. Wonder Gel, it has, you can either use it as, because this is, this self levels as well, but it's not as, it doesn't take as long. But let's just say you want, Oh, we 
can do. There's so many things you can do with it. Um, try not, not make this video too long, but I'm going to get, I'm gonna get this long. I'm gonna get a long brush. Any long brush will do. And this is pigment powder on the back, a white back background, and there's nothing else. It's just the pigment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh-oh, I probably should have um, contaminated this one. So now I'm just going to just make some kind of that, make some kind of design, right? Whatever you want. Um, put a little happy little thing here. And what you can do to keep it pro, because obviously, look, it's, it's coming down so you can cure it real quick so you can have or just do like a five second just to keep it in place and then uh, do some more mm, it's not a good design but i didn't mean to do that but i just want to show you something so then go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds did I want to show you with this um actually I just got this these they get they got a whole bunch of colors and I wanted to see these anyway so let's see So yeah, so this is the same as the uh, the wonder the clear wonder gel. It's just uh, okay. Yeah, it's the same. It's just it, it's not as I like I like the consistency of this. It's not as it's not as it's not as um. Droopy? <laughs> I don't know the word. It's not as droopy as the other one. I'm just doing stuff, you guys. It's not. This is not going on anybody's nail at all. I just want to show you how these work. This consistency it's like it's not as watery and it stays in place kind of okay but as you can tell this one is more watery so look see it it's more droop is more watery but they're both considered builder gels, I guess. You can use it as a builder builder gel. This one is also kind of is in the same vein. I, I'm not sure if he's um, done anything differently. Well, it doesn't it doesn't move as much. So if you can tell, it, this one this one moves a lot. This one not doesn't move at all. <laughs> It's like the hair. It don't move. It don't move. Let's see. And then this one. It's yeah. It's way. It's a, It's way thicker than that. And and this one is. And this one is way thicker than this. This one is way thicker than this. And this is thicker than this. So if you're wondering what you need or maybe. How, maybe get all three just so you can see in real life but that's how those compare and let's see so what I wanted to show you is how you can use these wonder gels 
So this was just a pigment background. I did not top coat it or anything, right? So now I'm going to get cotton swab and some acetone. And what I'm going to do is wipe off the rest of the background. Now then you can you can all um there you have it. And then you have your nice little design. And if you want, let's top coat it with some clear to bring out the colors. Don't put too thick of this now because if you, this can build up too. So what you can do with that way and do with that. And there you have it. You have your nice little design with the thickums. Now you can add, now the, you can add powder to this too. Let's see, I think you can. Let's go. Yeah, so you can add, you can add pigment to these as well. Now, what I will tell you, okay, so just so you know that, so you can add pigment to your builder gels because they have a sticky layer. Um, the wonder, well, not build, the wonder gel and the texture gel, wonder gel, wonder gel, texture gel, and this and the 3D jelly. These are all these are all considered jellies, I guess. But you can add pigment to all of these, but I just want to let you know that these all have a sticky a sticky residue at the end. So you if you're going to leave it as because this this is um you don't have to top coat it. You don't have to top coat these, but you do want to wipe that wipe that sticky layer off. Okay? Just want to let you know that and we're going to go to the next and what I want you to know about these see this, I'm just playing and stuff today but I wanted to, I wanted to do this because I truly felt some kind of way about doing nails and I was like what is happening okay so now I want to show you this was top coated with um the gloss and this is you can of course leave it as is but i want to show you something let me show you something let me show you something let me show you let me um where is it um it doesn't uh, i use this thing Okay, so I'm gonna get some of this. So chrome is, oh, let me actually do this first. So on top gloss, unlike the matte, is not going to hold powder. So watch this, All right? It's not going to do it. And you can wipe that right clean off, right? You see that? You're right, clean off, but it will keep chrome, or at least it will have to where it will it will stay on there a little bit. Like you, you can you can you can mess up your design, and it, you'll see some residue on there. It might not stay stick all the way on there. But you you might have some patches that you d didn't want to be chromed, right? So in that case, what you want to do is you want to get a buffer. And these are, I need to get some more of these, but these, since this is demo, I'm just using one I'm about to throw out. A Tammy Taylor buffer. And all you're going to do is just buff the shine away. 
Don't mind me with these headphones on. I got I got scene two playing in the back in, in my ears. <laughs> I love I love cartoons. But and you want to get the shine off because any shine left, you, you risk you risk putting any uh, risk having chrome on some a part of your nail that you didn't want chrome on. But I just want to show you show you this. So now, so now this is super chrome free. You can do whatever you need to do, and it is wipes clean off. But you see right here. It's got some, I don't know if you can see that. It It's sticking a little bit. So I just want to let you know that, that, it, that it will do that. And um, let's see what else we got here. Um, we have some, some, let me do, let me close some of this stuff up. <laughs> gel paint and gel polish so and then we have of course you know the stained glass stained glasses stained glass is stained glass stained glass if you don't have the color color that you want in stained glass all you have to do is put some clear with um with uh uh with the color gel gel color that you want like say for instance let's see Say for instance, and I use this one since I'm trying to get rid of some of the stuff. So say for instance, you want some, 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 some of this color, right? And you'll put some up. Depending on what you want, how if you want it matte, if the matte look or not, you just want to have probably equal parts or a little bit more than equal for the clear. And then you're going to mix it and you're gonna have a little bit of a jelly. So now, I didn't mix all of it, but you just do it until you feel comfortable. And then you're gonna have a little jelly. your jelly and to compare it I'm going to compare it with some other jelly I'll compare it with this one this is an actual stain, stain stained glass gel see it's the same consistency right did not know that in the beginning but it's good to know Especially if you're trying to, you know, save money or you don't have the funds to buy all this stuff at one time, you can do it this way. Whatever you have already on hand, just mix it with some, mix it with um, some clear. And I need to wipe that down. Get some swipe. So next, so now we're going to um, actually we'll do this. So this is what you call texture effect. Now this stuff is so thick. It's thick, thick. And what you can do with this is you can actually get a flat brush. Or depending, it depends on what you're what you're going for. But let me get a flat brush. Mm. Brush. Uh, I use this one. It's a stroke. It's still, it's still a stroke brush. Is still flat, but the flat brush is a lot wider. Uh, it'll still give me good coverage without having to work too hard. So with, with this texture effect though, you don't want it too thick. 
likes. So if you can see, can you see that? It's real thick and it don't move at all. It's not self-leveling or anything. So you must put it on the way you want it to be put on. All right, and then what you can do with these, you can make all, now this is black, I have white. Um, I don't think they make them in any other colors, but if they do, I'm unawares. Now, where is my, mm, I thought I had all of my stuff out. So I don't know what I did with my tool. I don't know what I did with it. It's like a, there's like a little three set of these where it's one that has just basically this at the tip. But I don't know what I did with it. It was there yesterday. But I did find the other colors. There's just, there are some more colors of texture gels. So you have the options to create your wildest whims, you know? All right, so this is how texture, texture effect works. So you can... Um, let's just do, and I have the white background just so you can see, really see what's going on in the back. So you can do your, you can do two lines. I would say I'm doing like a crocodile, but I don't even know if I'm doing it. I wouldn't be doing it right. So then we'll do... You want to make sure you take clean it off because then you're gonna end up make end up having like some black in where you don't want the black. See how that goes? So I have to do it again so I can get that extra line. Now I will say. That this is why I need my metal one. I can do it. Let's go. I'm going to just do the obvious. And of course, this is not going to be super pretty because I'm just trying to show you what you can do with it. See how, how you can't even see it now because I didn't clean it off. I'm just <laughs> this is not crocodile at all, but I'm just trying to give you an idea.
Well, anyway. All right. So, that is going to be that. And then I want to show you what the difference is between gel art paint paint as you can see it doesn't have a it's not moving let me see if we get another color that can kind of see even better so you see that it's not it doesn't move as it's the viscosity is somewhat thick but it's not to the point where it's going to run and i'll show you that by let me put it on the white now so you can see it better so as you can see this is going to be some gel polish this is just gel polish and let me show you something so when you're trying to make a design and you want to do like a straight line or something you just gonna be pull you're gonna be pulling for the rest of your life right but if you use a gel paint all you gotta do look see and it doesn't pull back it's just one of those things huh? yeah yeah trying to explain it the best way I can but that's the difference between gel um, paint and polish so if you're looking for something that's going to stay more in place and not um, pull while you're working with it so um, you know if you if you're say for instance you're drawing a face or something and you're using gel paint it's going to work better or even a liner let's see you can even you can use any kind of liner liners let's see liner so you can probably you can use this you use liners for like detail work like if you're creating a face or something that's not gonna move as it's not gonna move as much. It has a thicker, it's just way thicker than that. This this look, you can you can do too much with that. And you see how it's still pulling back? But if you if you were to just draw a line around that, and that's gonna stay the line. This you you pull it around. Well let me see, what did you want? Because obviously it's, you're going to have to add, keep adding because it's going to thin out, first of all. the If you keep pulling from this, it's going to thin out and you're not going to be able to do anything. Now this will stay. It'll stay. It'll, it'll do what you need it to do. But this is going to be more of a staying power. So you can, you can do this. And just, I don't know. I'm just trying to show y'all something. You can thin it down a little bit and it's not gonna pull back. Whereas this, you can try to pull it out, but it just doesn't have that same, it's gonna be see-through as well. But it, I don't know, this, it just pull, this gel polish pulls, it'll, it'll pull more. And if you don't cure it right, it's gonna wrinkle. The gel art, the paint, it might wrinkle, but it's not gonna wrinkle as much as the gel, the, the gel polish. Yeah. Clear as mud. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is just for the newbies because, I, like I said, I was having difficulty trying to figure out what's what, especially with that matte and the the top the top gels and what they and what each one of those did. But everything else was fine, and of course, the pixie gel um i'm not sure who, who all sells it but i try to just i try to support all the instagram and um people that have their own lines as opposed to going to these mainstream um affiliates now i do get madam glam and luxa every now and again but you know those are just treats you know 
Well, I would say all of our treats, everything is a treat because everybody has so so much, so many good products out here. People are really trying to get behind their stuff. Now, I will say the fumes though. The fumes is wild out here. And then you have your sugar gels. And I showed you this in a previous video where I just like to use, well, you can of course make your, your um, ice cream cones and stuff like that. I like, I like to use this as a, um, as a, as a help in the, the marble techniques. And I'll show you what I mean by that. And this is just you just use a thin layer because like I said before, if you use a thick layer, you're just gonna have a bulky nail because you want to encapsulate this with the wonder gel. And that's the, the clear one, not the other one. Let me try something different today. Let me see. Well not different, different, but color wise, I do want to try this. See what happens. Okay, let's hear that. And then look, check this out. So now you have a. Uh, it, it, if you can hear it, you have texture. It's a textured nail. Okay, and I think, oh, and we didn't, we have pudding gels because I didn't know what the heck pudding gel was. Um, I'm still not quite clear on when to use it, but I do use it for, um, I do use it for petals and stuff like that. So I'm using a, you can, you get, there are what you call petal um, brushes. I've seen them. I think I have. I know I have them because I didn't bought everything. Lord have mercy. Trying to trying to um, mimic uh, some other YouTube's videos, and you can see it. Like it's not. It's creamy, but it's not. It's not a texture gel type where it's like. I don't know. I don't know what to call this, but like I said, it's not. It's not like, it's not like this, and it's not like the, and it's not like this, the 3D jelly. But it's somewhere in between. Let's see. I remember how to make. See, it gives you a little, it gives you the little ridges in there. So that it gives it kind of like a texture. Use another. This is not the one I need. I'll try it with the um, I'll try it with the pointy, the pointy. And you can smash it around, let's smash it around so that we can get a good coating. Get it all in those brushes, right? Let's see, let's see what we get.
So it gives you like a little bit of ridge in there so that you can have a little bit of a texture. If you can tell that, you can tell just a little bit. But that's what pudding looks like to me. It's like you can, it's like, a, it's not exactly texture effect gel because the texture effect gel won't be a lot. Yeah, I guess it could do that. Let me, let me look. Let's try it. Let's try it. See how, see how it's this, it's like almost the same thing. It's not, it's not really the same consistency, but it's just close. This is definitely thicker. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't have the same Thing going on but I do like the it, it, it's got a little bit of ridge to it but this definitely is not as So let's go ahead and finish this up and then we'll get on out of here. Um, where's my top to this? Oh. But yeah, this is from Madame Lamb. They have all, um, these are gel, pudding gels. And of course these are from Botino. So I'm going to put some of this stuff up. And then we're going to, but I, I want to try this with these new colors because I just want to see what it what happens these are inks now there are many forms of inks but you do what you do what you, you do what you need to do with those Sure, you do not spill any because Lord have mercy. That is a mess to clean up. Let's see. We'll start with the blue. Make it pink. Make it blue. Make it purple. Then we want some yellows. They call me mellow yellow. Ow. We'll do some green. Let's do some green, all right. But you see how the, the texture, I like the texture. Don't contaminate your bottle, wipe it down. That didn't come out green though. It 
it's too close to the yellow to me. Because look, watch this. I'm gonna come get me some orange, make some orange. I didn't like that at all. Okay. So I was gonna have a highlight color in there, but I guess they didn't wanna do that. Okay, it still came out pretty decent. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see what happens when I add the acetone. Now I have a fishtail brush, which is going to help me get those lines a little bit more clean. Maybe. some of that white back in there. Let's see, let me get some yellow in there. I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. do that but it started out all right <laughs> Ooh. Okay. I got some black. This can be overpowering. See what I was trying to go for though. I'm gonna wipe it all off and start again. Let me get some of this paint back. stopped a long time ago, huh? Is that what y'all saying? Probably. In hindsight. <laughs> Either way. Alright, so now we're going to I'm going to show you this one time, this thing because you could either you can you can use some shine it 
but you might still have the ridges. So I don't know that for a fact. So we're going to try it now. Um, I, yeah, I'll use this one because it's almost out. And if I contaminate it, I'm not worried about it. Go to the lab. Well, I guess you could use this, and it's gonna smooth it out. But if you want to encapsulate it, you use the Wonder Gel. And here's a. Uh, I I actually did one the other day, so you and you can go back to that. But yeah, I did the same technique, but using brown and black with the texture, these uh, sugar gels. Oh, yeah, I'm here too. All right. broke out all the kitchen tools today to, to show y'all some stuff but yeah there we go now this it doesn't have any ridges i don't feel any but of course you can shape it up once you you know do all that stuff but there you have it guys i think that worked out really well you can probably do some extra stuff. anyway all right <laughs> i'm getting beside myself but those are the texture gel pudding and a pudding mix <laughs> pudding mix <laughs> anyway so that is what i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed or learned something from it if you have please consider liking this video and maybe subscribing so that you know see what we go see where it go uh, from years from now get better you practice makes better right so go be your fave in a minute eh, 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 be your fave all right